We now return to Let's Play Caves of Gud. Let's leave the zone and head to the Rust Wells. They are over there on the right. So I am passing through right now Watervine Swamps. This is probably my last opportunity, if I wanted it, to uh, harvest some goods and eventually, somewhere in here, I'm not really sure where, but in one of these swamps, supposedly, we would eventually come across the corpse of Argive's apprentice. He might have something on him, but I don't really feel like going through there right now and dealing with those creatures. So let's head into the desert. Looks like I still have enough food. That's good. But see, I just ate 104 vine wafers. And I just ate 103 vine wafers. I believe I'm now completely out of vine wafers. So we might be starving here pretty damn soon. I eat 88 vine wafers. I didn't know I had that many. I must have changed some of the vine stalks into wafers, but we're here at the Rust Wells now. Let's see what's awaiting me. Oh, shit. Turtles. Neutral saltback, but there is Merlot Mib, the querulous. Legendary great saltback. A massive dortis, the great saltback of the domesticated desert ships of the Dromad caravans. Loved by tortoises and dromad merchants, disliked by the villagers of Kukukia for disproving a famous theorem. This guy is wearing a quilted shawl, however. He's impossible, though, so I'm not going to bother with him. We will leave the turtles, tortoises, alone. Saltbacks. There was another one? Oh, God. Well, this is interesting. Numugoyungni, kite dancer, legendary four-corned new. This stout, thickly muscled herbivore is intensely territorial, violently attacking anything that crosses its path. It's loved by the antelopes, but thankfully so am I, and it's disliked by swine for some reason no one remembers. So, um, I almost wonder here if we're seeing a war between the new and the saltbacks. That would be quite interesting. And oh crap, out of the corner of my little eye, I saw something even worse. A chitinous puma. It's tough, and it's hostile, and it moves like a motherfucker. So, um... Maybe we can move towards my friendly new, and they will help me? Let me see here, though, real quick. I want to bring up... Where is it? Character... Factions. There we go. Okay. And antelopes, for some reason, favor me. Apes dislike me. Arachnids really dislike me. Baboons dislike me, too. So do bears. And, well, just really, really a lot of these people hate me. The Consortium of Phyta don't care about me. Probably not going to like me even more when I start harvesting them. But cats dislike me. Cannibals dislike me. Everyone dislikes me. But uh, I really, really don't want to be in the path of that puma because they are a major pain in the ass. So I just kind of want to crawl up here and see... Oh boy. Oh boy. This is a mess. This is a motherfucking mess. There's another puma over there on the right, and he's attacking the Snapjaws. We came into... some <laughs> animal kingdom warfare here, which is crazy. I actually kind of want to sit here and, and wait and see how the... Uh, the hero animals do fighting each other. They're right in the way of the stairs I need to go down. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Way down there at the bottom, there's a little circle on the screen. That is a spool of wire, the kind of thing that I'm here to get. Uh, probably not more than a few feet, though. I hope those snap jaws took care of that puma. I don't want to get too close to the puma on the left, though, but hopefully it's not hanging around anymore. Ooh, someone dropped an ingot up there. I'll be sure to waddle over to the aftermath of this fight. Oh, that puma is totally guarding that. If I get too close, he's going to come after me. Fifty feet? That's a fourth of the battle right there. I should probably actually... I'm passing by Watervine. Actually, yeah, I'm curious about that. 
So I've still got 85 vine wafers. What can I do with this? I don't know. I don't know where those hundreds of vine wafers were coming from. Maybe I was eating off the land as I was passing through, which would be pretty damn cool. But I don't believe I had that many. And the tortoises appear to have won, and there is something over... You're not hostile to me, are you? No, you're neutral, but you're irritable. So my antelope friends seem to have lost. What is this? Well, there's a kudzu over there, but that's not what I actually want to do. I hate the fact that your look jumps to things of interest, because I really want to see what this smoke on the ground is. I'm hoping it's not poisonous. I am hungry, however. Now I'm sated. And I just found a copper nugget and a ton of water. Holy crap. Those new were carrying water. Okay, well, we haven't been molested yet. Let's go ahead and go down. Actually, let's save before going down. But I mean, isn't this a great game where you just show up and there's a battle between animal factions? Like, that doesn't happen in any other game that I can think of. So let's go down. Okay. And we have to be careful with those kudzu. I might be able to shoot it. Now it's red, so I don't think I'm going to hit it. Just getting close to it, though, is enough to possibly trigger something rusting. Kudzu dies. Good. My chem cell is still full, which makes me wonder if I'm using it at all. Because I'm not seeing any... Okay, I just hit that with my... Kukri. Long sword I will take. I'm carrying a hell of a lot of water, so this time I definitely do need to be a little bit more careful about the kinds of things I am packing around. Oh boy. Shot him right between the eyes. Short sword. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, I, oops, I took the other thing that wasn't a short sword because I hit F instead of G. Twenty feet. Wow, we might be out of here early. Black robes. I don't know if there's, like, a thing where you can put on certain accoutrements and sort of pass as one of whatever you're trying to pass by. Um, damn. I really want to try and avoid those kudzu, because that would really suck. They can even rust the spools of copper wire, which makes them completely worthless. Do not count towards your quest. Damn, did I not hit him? There we go. Okay. Other goodies to pick up. The longsword. The desert chris. Well, maybe I didn't need to pick up the desert chris, but we'll take that and we'll also take the nugget. Hopefully we won't have to go down too many floors. Uh, the iron is going to be worth something. I would like to stay more or less on as few of the floors as we need to in order to get this, but that may not be the case. You know what? I need to shoot you so that you do not cause me grief. F for the short sword. Uh, nothing good there. Well, like it or not, I'm just going to have to start going down some of these passageways and hope that the kudzu does not rust my good stuff. There's the stairs down. Bronze battle axe. I'm just going to start leaving the bronze on the floor. Uh, I don't want to get close to that. 50 feet. Fantastic. This is going very well. 
Sometimes you only find like two or three feet at a time. And it takes forever. So that's the stairs down. And this opens up into an area right away. You're gonna come to me or am I gonna have to shoot you? That's a waste of a bullet there. And we're empty, so I need to reload. And a mace. The mace is actually going to be worth a little bit. Oh, come on. Come on. Smash through them like that. Short sword, I said I was going to leave the bronze. And I totally did not. <laughs> Four skin gloves. Do I have gloves yet? I don't. So we'll go and auto-equip that. Great. Could do stem. Pick that up. That's apparently something that's useful. D for the long sword. I think that guy was just standing on a copper wire there. That's not what I meant to do. Smash through him and take a lot of goodies there, actually. Iron mace. Slender wooden buckler. Mm, we'll leave that, but the copper... Oh, good God. Um, let's see how I do. I might be able to get away without time dilation here. Okay. Those guys aren't too bad now, which I'm pleased with. Yeah, here's only one foot. go back the other way, I guess. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. So do you see that guy? That is a shotgunner. We can take a shotgun, hopefully. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to get in the middle of him because, boy howdy, that is not going to be a good day. So I'm going to wait. He might actually be shooting me. I'm going to wait here around the corner. There he is. I'm going to try and shoot him. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that's so great. Got a weird artifact. That weird artifact is going to be a shotgun. And I probably should not be doing this while there is a guy still around there. Pump shotgun. Read it. But it's too complex for me to know how to make one on my own. So that's why we bump up the psychometry. Because eventually, I will learn how to do it. But I have one shotgun shell, it looks like, that I picked up. I will load that in. And, uh... Fortunately, um... Tam does have some shotgun shells back in town. However, he might have changed his stock by the time we get there. I'll pick up those crocosins. Uh... Leave that bronze short sword. That is a pool of brackish water, so it is worthless. Although, wait, wait, wait. I have only fresh water. I've got a ton of fresh water. Holy crap. I need to get rid of some of that. You can combine water skins. I'm a little leery of doing that just because the one time I tried it, I actually ended up losing all the water. I guess I just was too clumsy and I poured it all over the ground or something. What I want to do, though, is fill up a little bit of the brackish water, just in case, well, let's do three, just in case someone catches me on fire and uh, I have to put myself out because I don't want to be wasting my fresh water to do that. What in the hell? I'm, I'm totally missing this guy. So I'm going to come out here for a little bit. He's not following me. I guess I have to go by this guy. Okay, good. There, finally got him. I wonder if maybe the kudzu was eating the bullets or something. Okay, iron dagger, I'll take that just because it's iron. And that appears to be it. So, gonna have to go down 
Where are the stairs? Down there they are. And there is that bug. Now that bug is a beetle bum. And it roams and ingests. What I believe that means is that it will start eating things on the floor. At least that's what I've read. And so if I do start throwing things on the ground with the idea that I will come back later to pick them up, that thing might eat them. Not so good. I uh, need to reload my revolver. I've got 26 slugs left, so I probably don't want to keep wasting them like I have been, but that's how that goes. So, let's save before heading down. And... How much wire do I need to make? Left. Close that all up, and it should be under trade goods. Oops. Ah, oh, well, whatever. We'll just... There it is. It's under... Miscellaneous. Okay, so I need 200. I still got quite a ways to go. Let's go down. Right into the face of a centipede, and oh no. I'm gonna hit time dilation because that is an eyeless crab, which hurts. Um, what's cool though is that I have butchery, so if I'm lucky, I'll be able to walk over its corpse and pick up some crab legs. And that's good eating. But you can see I'm actually taking a bit of damage. Not so good. Yay! Eyeless crab legs. So let's rest a little bit, get back some hit points. Only got a few. Oh no! Segmented mirthworms. These things are freaking annoying because where there's one, there's about a billion of them. Here they come. Here they all come. Oh my god. I'm just gonna let them come to me. Apparently they're not attacking the Snapjaw at all. Whoops. I moved over. I didn't want to move over. I wanted them to come to me. Everyone's just taking their turn, I guess. And this one got smart and he decided to come around. So I need to find a corner next time and hide underneath them. But, I mean, look at that. I'm getting 70 experience every time I kill one. Okay. Are, are you guys done now? Leather cap. What am I actually wearing for headgear? That's sun veil, and I'm wearing that for the dodge value. I've got a dodge value of 7. That's because I'm over my 50% limit. Might want to consider picking that leather cap up, actually, and swapping that out for higher armor values. Although I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm not really taking any damage. Oh my god. Yep. 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 Mirthworms. Frickin' mirthworms. So, I was on my other character. I had gotten to an old human outpost where there were robots, and at the time I had an artifact that made robots friendly to me. And it was pretty nice because there were infestations of mirthworms and oh, Krappenheim. Let's do time dilation. Yay, level 7! Uh, anyway, so there were nests of these bastards everywhere. And the robots kindly went and slaughtered them all. So, if I had gone down the control and domination route, I could have taken over that Snapjaw guy and made him fight for me. So that would have been useful. Uh, there's the stairs down right away. Jeez, look at that. They're everywhere. Fortunately, this might mean I'll level up before we even leave the dungeon. They're not terribly difficult, but they do swarm you, as you just saw, and so you gotta be careful. I'm not really sure. I'm actually kind of miffed that they didn't start attacking the Snapjaw and vice versa. Because that would have been nice to have him fighting for his own survival. So, that more brackish water probably. Salty water. Well, not so great. Okay. Creep up on the kudzu so it doesn't rust my stuff. And more of our wormy friends. 
Eventually, I would like to get the mutation, and I won't really have a choice because it's random. Oh boy, there's an amoeba. Hopefully that'll start fighting something else that's not me, and I did not get my wish. Hopefully, I'd, I would like to get a mutation eventually that uh, is sort of a force push, and it allows me to just sort of blast everybody around me, push them away, which is good, but it also does damage and it stuns them. I'll take that iron short sword. So, in a mirthworm case, it would be very useful. And uh, I'm not in a good position here because this is actually letting them hit me twice. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, well, hopefully after I survive this... There we go. I'm gonna rest for a little bit. Only a little bit because, of course, there are freaking mirthworms everywhere. Now I'll rest. Okay. Uh, I hate these things. I mean, they're not difficult, terribly. We're surviving them pretty easily. That thing is caught fighting the Vine Reaper. It's just that they're really slowing everything down. I mean, they're giving me... Uh -oh. We have a scrap-clad hermit, a gnarled, hunched form shrouded in layers of twisted sheet metal. Yeah, a little bit tougher of an enemy. Um, I'm going to pull back, see if he doesn't come down here, maybe. Ah, damn it. I was really hoping to avoid him. There is a centipede. Uh, can I? Time dilate. This guy, being scrap clad, might have good stuff, or he might be completely weak, like that. I'll shoot the centipede. What did he have? Only a cloth rope. Okay, well sometimes those guys are actually heavily armored. So, I was taking no chances there. Man, we're not going to go through there and chance the kudzu. There's another one of those beetles. Ow. Oh, my sworn enemy. And unfortunately, the jilted lover decided that was a good time to take advantage and try and kill me as well. Let's gain back some more hit points before moving on. Only 20 feet. That's not good. We have to spend some more time. Oh no. You know what? I, mm, I'm gonna hit my sprint and dash away because if I kill that thing, it's gonna slime the floor, which means I can slip right into that kudzu vine. I don't know why I would try and shoot this thing because it's slime, but I guess it works. Okay. Thankfully, it didn't send me all over the goddamn floor. There. More dreadroot troopers? Yay! Centipedes! Not so bad anymore. Snapjaws are a joke at this point. One more. Ooh, yay, a bloodstained neck ring. That is going to be another good trade item. I mean, I could put it on my own head, my own throat, my own body. Not worth doing. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Well, I need to get rid of that thing first, and then I'll beat a hasty retreat. Is my time dilation up? It is. That's very good. It has a pretty decent cooldown now. Uh-oh, what is that? An electrofuge. This thing has electric attacks. I'm gonna shoot it. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to want to come towards me. I guess we're still under the effects of uh, time dilation, so maybe that helped me there. Okay, I have a desert or a quilted shawl and a desert chris to pick up here. Giant centipede corpse. And a big room of nothing. Just some crazy hyena man living in a room with a... Whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. 
What the hell was that? I accidentally hit a button that sent me all over the room. That is not good. I do not want to make that again. I guess that was the auto-explore button. Don't hit the auto-explore button. Not so great. Okay. Well, that's this floor done. These are the stairs down, right? And uh, we do need quite a bit more, unfortunately. I was really hoping to be done by now. Yeah, we uh, need about 60 more feet. So, I guess I still have plenty of backpack space, so I can still keep going without needing a lot of stuff. Um, we've got eyeless crab legs, which are going to be good eating. Fine wafers, bandages. Looks like everything's going well. Nothing rusted yet. So I'm managing to avoid that, but this is an absurd amount of water. I think each of these water skins can actually hold 64 drams, so I really should start considering combining them, and I'll definitely put some in the chests back in Joppa. Okay, well, this is going well. I know it's kind of slow, but that's sort of how you have to play it to survive. Um, we did level up at one point, and I never did anything with it. So, let's look at mutation points. Electromagnetic pulse, what would that do? It would allow me to have a longer duration. So far, I've not used it. I might want to use it. Time dilation, this is another thing that's kind of weird. I don't really know. This would allow me to construct more complex things. And if I leveled it up, well, let's level it up. Let's look at it again and see if I can't do it again. Tier 6 complexity, so I might be able to get that shotgun. So now, let's have a look at that shotgun. Yay! Now I've learned how to make a shotgun. Let's have a... whoops. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's do this. Let's see if I've got enough equipment. No, I need pure alloy in order to make a shotgun. I still can't make my Borderlands revolver. All that stuff below those top five I think are going to be a lot more difficult to get. I'm probably going to have to start disassembling things like um, pump shotgun and you know the, the more advanced technology in order to get some of the more advanced components, which you know makes a lot of sense. Hopefully though, one of these days we'll be able to go back to Joppa and Argive will have some really good shit that I can disassemble. Of course we can always just get data disks and that tells me how to do it as well, but that doesn't mean I have the bits to assemble anything. Okay, well anyway, uh, first floor, well actually no, we're on the second floor now, aren't we? So uh, we'll be going to the next floor next time. I'll see you then.